Hi, this is Tim Vallejo with usingwindowshomeserver.com. I have Alex Koretz here with mediasmartserver.net and John with Home Server Show. And I've recently upgraded my EX485 to the HP 3.0 software. Uh, once I enabled that, everything was working great. However, I've noticed that Twonky has been slowing my system down, uh, slowing it down to the point of not being able to use it. So I did a couple of posts, and I have John and Alex here to help walk through exactly what the issue might be with my system and what some of the solutions are for any of the users out there that are having the same issues. So Alex and John. Great. Uh, well, first, thanks for having us on here, Tim. All right, thank you. John, how are you doing tonight? Doing well. Thanks for inviting me, Tim. Oh, excellent. So the users are seeing on the screen here the, a video of my system. Um, currently, right now, I've stopped the sharing on the Twonky. Uh, you can see that on my database, I've got a holdup in one of my uh, movies called Fearless. And currently, right now, I do archiving for my uh, DVDs through DVD Shrink and then post those to the Windows Home server. So Alex has joined in to show us how to troubleshoot what may be wrong with your server if it's Twonky, if it's your software, some sort of conflict, and what to do about it. Cool. So um, I've written a blog post about this last week when I first encountered the issue doing the upgrade. And what we found is that certain files, uh, we haven't narrowed down what exactly causes the problem, but some files will cause Twonky to just hang. And it gets in a, apparently some kind of infinite loop where it's just basically cycling up the CPU. Um, on a dual core system like the EX495 uh, that I'm running, it doesn't seem to cause a problem uh, or as bad a problem because you still have the other core running. But on the single core systems, it really bogs them down hard. So uh, a good symptom that you'll observe is the uh, last database update here on the screen where it says in progress and it's stuck for quite a while. Uh, that's an indication that basically Twonky's just frozen. Uh, so what you want to do is figure out what file is causing the problem. And unfortunately, this in progress bar doesn't tell you the exact file. It can help you narrow down to where the file is, but it doesn't tell you which one exactly. OK, now your, uh, your fix, which we'll reference on this link and will be in the video, shows us how to find out what the, the, the problem may be. And I've noticed That's here right. that it says that last database update, it doesn't have a date on here. It actually has the folder share listed. And that could be yeah. an indication that something's wrong with my files. That's right. So when it's completed successfully, you'll see a timestamp or a date stamp on there that says when was the last time Twonky searched all your media. Um, and, the fa and also when it's scanning, you'll see this in-progress statement. But usually that cycles through and updates every few seconds or so. Um, the fact that it's just stuck there for quite a while means that um, it's stuck in progress trying to scan your files. Okay. So previously, when I was troubleshooting this, I just started moving files around, trying to you know divide and conquer and figure out you know what were the problem files. And eventually, I narrowed it down and I was able to determine which one it was. Move it out of the way, uh, reinitiate Twonky, and it would index just fine. It, it, it did the rest of my library with no problems. Um, after some thinking and, and uh, hearing your problem, I decided there's got to be a better way to really narrow down and identify what the file is quickly. And I recall the Handle Utility, which is an excellent uh, sysinternals product, uh, free software. Uh, it will identify what files any process on your computer has open. And so it's going to tell us what video file it's stuck on. OK, now you're about to show us how to do this. And this is going to be great video. But John, you mentioned that you didn't have this issue. Now, you have a 470 with an upgraded CPU, correct? Yes, my, uh, my 470 has a dual core chip in there. OK, so, so it could be that the dual core helps get rid of this, so 495 owners may not have this. Or it could be a file issue. So you know, as we go through this, Alex will be able to show us exactly which issue uh, it could be. It could be the, the fact that I'm running a slower machine, an older machine with an update, or that I do have a file stall. So this uh, handle I guarantee program. guarantee it's a file stall. Uh, what I, when I spoke earlier about the dual, dual core not exhibiting the problem as much was just that the load isn't as evident because only one of the cores is consumed by Twonky. Uh, it doesn't take down both cores and really bring it down to a crawl. It just slows it down. OK. Yes, but I think my, we my will. Issue, sorry, my issue was just the, uh, like Alex had said, with the, uh, the media streaming. That's why I ran into a, a problem with the, uh, with the music files. But uh, I guess the problem I didn't, the reason I didn't really come into a problem with the videos 
because all my videos are like ADI files, and I guess none of them were, you know, what Flunky would consider corrupt. So it just went through them and didn't find a problem, so it just, you know, kept going. This is probably why I didn't have a problem. Okay, well, that's a great segue. So, um, Alex, you can drive and show us exactly what I've, what I've done to my system, and now we can fix it. 